Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. If you haven't subscribed, please do, um, and I would greatly appreciate it. But, you know, we are trying to get on a regular schedule, but until then, the notifications and all that good stuff that comes with subscribing would be amazing. <laughs> all right, so this is a special request coming from one of you guys. I totally get it. Like, you guys follow along on the tutorials, things make sense, I know what I'm doing, so it just seems like, okay, yeah, that's easy, but then when you go to do your own project, you run into some issues. So I am here for that. Just let me know, uh, reach out to me. A lot of times we can resolve these issues through uh, direct messaging or um, email, whatever. Um, but sometimes we still need more help. So in this case, I'm doing a full on tutorial. So um, yeah, just reach out and let me know if you guys have any comments or questions, help on your project. All right, we are doing a Wally. This is a great, cute little file. It looks like um, we can make him pretty big and look seamless, right? Because I'm looking at the yellow, for instance, and like this is one piece. This is another piece, right? So um, this one is kind of a big piece right here, but still overall like really, really cute um, and small with pieces that, you know, will look seamless. Um, let's just get started. All right, so let's make this 30 inches. I'm gonna go to height and just type in 30. And oops, not 230, but 30. If your image is locked, which it usually comes in locked, then you only have to change one dimension. So I changed the height to 30, the width will change accordingly. So it's now 26 and a half inches. Um, some things that I noticed over here, let's look at the right hand side panel to see what we have. Um, it looks like we don't have a solid black. We have the black outline here, but it's open. And then I don't know what this is. What color is that? Those are the tread marks. Oh, I see. So this tread little thing right here. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Oh, so this one is one big piece right here. That's going to be a problem. So we're probably going to like slice it right here because it's so teeny tiny right there that we're not going to notice. And then maybe another one down here. But this whole big piece is, that's a big piece. Um, all right. Um, so let's scroll out for a second. And let's work with our black background first. So on this one, you're going to go to contour. And we're just going to hide everything. We're going to make it a solid black background that everything can sit on top of. Okay, so we're going to click hide all. And it's going to give us a solid black. And you'll see over here, it's going to change. So you see how it changed to solid black. Um, what's up with the white? Why is the white like that? I don't think it matters. We'll now send this one. Let's send this arrange. Oh, it doesn't let me go to arrange either. Weird. Okay. Let's just click this and ungroup it. And let's see what we have. Okay. So we've got our solid black background. We know that. Okay. Um, here are our gray pieces and they're all, it's showing as one big piece, right? So we're going to need to slice this apart because right now it's showing that this gray image is 22 inches wide and almost 28 inches long. So we don't have, our Cricut can't cut that, right? So we need to break this up into pieces, but these individual pieces should all fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Um, so it'll look seamless. Let's look at all the pieces that we have. Here's our white. So we're gonna need to do that with all the colors, basically. They're all grouped together. Um, okay, so everything looks really easy on this piece, right? Um, there are pieces that you know can cut on the Cricut once we get them separated. So let's get started on that. I'm gonna move this little black guy all the way down here out of the way for a minute. 
And let's start with something easy. Let's start with the blue. I think the blue are just the glasses. Now, or his eyes. So the blue is super easy. Let's just grab a square and we'll just talk about slicing while we're waiting. When you slice something, you can only slice two items at a time. So in this case, we're gonna be slicing our square and the blue. So um, the square or whatever shape you end up using, you wanna make sure that it covers the one piece that we're gonna separate from the other piece completely, right? So you wanna make sure that this um, circle is completely in the square. What you don't want is something like this, where the square covers a little bit of both items because you're gonna have a slice and it's gonna cut this one up. So let's move this one over and you're gonna see, I'm gonna use my, we're in a lot of traffic right here, right? There's like a bunch of stuff, but my mouse is only going to touch the square and the blue. And I, oops, it didn't because I know it grabbed too much because it didn't let me slice. Let me do that again so you can see. So this is what I did, right? You see how slicing is grayed out? I picked up more than two items. So I'm gonna try it again. There, you see how I went just a little bit? It grabbed my square and the blue and I'm gonna slice. So it's whatever your mouse picks up, okay? And once it slices, then we don't need this, but I'm gonna move it aside because I'm gonna use the same square in a minute. Okay, so this we don't need, the slice results. But now, look at our glasses or our eyes, whatever this is. This is now its own separate piece, and this is its own separate piece. You wanna do that because if you remember, the eyes are were, were kinda like this far apart. That means for your paper, like it, for this, you could probably use scrap paper, and you can get it really close to each other, and then now this would only take up, oh shit, I did it again. Oh, okay, let me grab these two items. You know, now instead of needing, I don't know what it was before, nine inches, it needs like 6.3 by 3.3. .3. So you wanna do that so that you don't waste paper. All right, so here's our blue. Let's look at our, our white. Our white looks pretty easy. It's the two dots of the eyes and the four pieces down here. So again, I can do this Right, my little dot is in the square all by itself. And you can do this and slice. Now it looks like this is a lot of slicing. So I'm probably not gonna do all the colors because once you get going and you know how to slice things out so that you can um, you know, cut on your Cricut, we won't do all of it, okay? But see, now my little circle is out by itself and then Let's do these four pieces together down here. So the white is selected, right? I'm gonna hit the shift key and I'm gonna go over here and grab this piece. So I grab the two pieces, I'm gonna slice and depending on how good you wanna be, you could slice these individual squares or rectangles um, or not. Right? This might be enough for you because now we can cut it on the Cricut. That might be enough if you want to. You can you know, make these more efficient and fit them closer together on the cutting mat. Okay, let's look at this one. This one looks pretty easy, right? You would slice each one of these things out. So I'm gonna move this aside. Um, this one I'm worried about because I don't know how big this is. So let's work on this one together. Now, um, let's bring in a square and you can make it really big, right? All right, so I'm gonna slice out this little squiggly guy. So this is already highlighted. I'm gonna hit my shift key and I'm gonna grab my square and slice. I wanna see how big this thing is. Now, so in my head, because it's Wally -E and there's like metal pieces and stuff, I would love to mix mix up the textures um, on this project. Like maybe some metallic cardstock, gray cardstock, um, foil cardstock, all in the same color scheme, right? 
um, but also you could maybe even do HTV so this would look kind of cool if you had that like silver um, I worked with poly tape recently and they have a reflective one so that would be kind of cool all right so my square is selected I'm gonna hit the shift key I'm gonna grab this thing I'm gonna slice out that oh no wait a minute what am I doing can't slice out that line that line was gonna cut through everything hold on there so my line is completely in here because I don't see it running through my empty space right so I'm gonna grab the two items and I'm gonna slice um, yeah like reflective HTV would be really cool because um, you can always iron that on you can iron onto paper it would take like a few seconds and it would look so good because it's just gonna give you a different texture and look to it all right so this is nine um, 10 inches by a quarter of an inch okay let's go and get this piece out and see how big this really is okay all right so I'm gonna grab this square is already highlighted so it's active I'm gonna hit the shift key and I'm gonna grab the treads and slice and let's see how big this is so I'm gonna delete this we don't need that we don't need the slice results, right? Okay, so this guy is 11.581 by 7.3. This will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. I would leave it as is. Um, this one is 12.9 by 11.3. So this is what I would do with this one. Um, I would consider using HTV because HTV comes in a roll, right? So it's 11.382, which is under 11.5, and you can cut up to 23 and a half inches. So this would all be one piece. Um, so that would be my cheat. Now, if you if you didn't do that and you had paper and you only had 12 by 12 paper, this is what I would do with this one. Kind of like what we were talking about earlier. I would slice it like right here where it's super thin and no one would notice the seam and I would slice it again right maybe here where it's kind of thin, okay? So let's do that. Um, let's bring in, and if you needed to, I would slice again here. So this would be one piece, two piece, two pieces and then three would be all this together so let's do that let's see if we can do this in just one slice though okay so what you would do is you would rotate this piece like right around here right that's really thin right there let's grab the square and slice and see what we have what our new dimensions are so the treads all together would be okay 6.4 by 12.1 this you can break up so this can cut seamlessly right or you could rotate it maybe like this and unlock it your new dimensions are um 11.2 by 11.1. So you can cut this on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Let's see what we have over here. So let's delete this. We don't need this. Oh, and this too, you can cut. Um, you'll, you'll need to rotate this a little bit. And let's unlock it to see what the new dimensions. Seven by uh, seven inches by 11 inches. So you can, you know, cut this on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. You could cut both of these like this maybe um maybe no i don't think so oh unless you put it in like i don't know <laughs> we'll see we'll see later when you go to cut this but basically you can cut this this whole thing will have just two little seams that you're not even going to notice okay 
So that was the problem area. This you would just slice up, right? Obviously you can't cut 22 inches by 28 inches, but these individual pieces you can cut on your Cricut. So what that leaves us with is just this black background. So for this black background, let's get rid of, well not get rid of it, but let's clean up this space a little bit. I'm gonna grab all of this and just move it over so we don't have to see it. Oh my God, why won't it let me move it over? Okay, then let me move this down. Okay, so this guy, oh gosh, he's killing me, is 26 inches by 30 inches. So let's go to upload. So this upload you can get on my website, um, theuselesscrafter.com. And the reason why we have it is because it takes, it's a process to create those squares and make them all flush together. So I created an SVG file so that every time you do an off the mat, you can just easily insert it. So I'm going to insert, give me a second, where is it? Sorry, I've been doing so many projects lately. Um, here it is. So the the file comes with um, a four by four, so basically 16 flush squares and also a three by three, so nine, nine flush squares. So let's do, let's see, let's do this one, add to canvas. So instead of having to create those each time, it's now just an image that you can insert. And it saves a lot of time, so, all right. So here is our grid of squares, okay? The only thing you need to do is, I would first align it, so go to position and align it to whole numbers. So six point something becomes six and 32. Oops, geez, 32. Okay, then let's go get our image, our black background, and go to arrange, send to the front. I want to see where our seams are gonna be, okay? So I also want like kind of big pieces, right? So like maybe something like this, but go and ungroup your squares at this point, okay? Um, this head doesn't need to be in one, two, three pieces, right? Let's get rid of this square. Let's grab this square and this square and use your arrow key and just scoot it over. There. So now the head's gonna be in two pieces. It's gonna be split down. Um, could we do that with this one? I don't know, let's see. We'll grab this one and this one and let's scoot it over and see. It's gonna be close. I don't think it's gonna work. Oops, no, it's not gonna work. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's, so the reason why I like it on a grid is we're going to Actually, we can just do this, hold on. Let me scoot this back over. I'm gonna scoot it back over to where I have bigger pieces, because I don't know if you saw that, but this little tip was gonna be off by itself, which I didn't want. Okay, everything looks good here. We're going to slice now, because this black background is 26 and a half inches by 30 inches, so we can't cut it. We don't have the paper to cut it, the machine can't cut it, so we are now slicing it up into pieces that we can cut. So I'm gonna take one square and the image at one time and slice. And the reason why it's missing this square is by default, we don't have to slice the last square, right? Because everything around it is sliced, so that's gonna be by itself. So we're gonna slice all seven squares that we see, and this piece will be sliced by default at the end. So let's do these two pieces here. Okay, and then we're gonna do this little piece over here. Okay. 
This is going to be a really, really cute character. I love when the characters come out like, you know, with like an awe factor, like someone's going to come in and just look at me like, wow, it looks exactly what he looks like, you know, on TV. And um, it'll be big, it'll be cute, and it photos so well. All right, so we're just making our way around here. So sorry, I'm just chit-chatting. <laughs> Um, and we're almost there. So you see like with this grid of squares, it makes it so much faster. Okay. All right. So what you want to do is now you, I move all my pieces over and I keep them in order. So here's the head. The head is going to be two pieces, right? Uh-oh, what happened here? It didn't slice properly. Hold on. I hate it when it does that. When it doesn't slice properly, undo it. I didn't notice it, so I'm, I didn't undo it. I don't know why this does it. It's not letting me go down further. It keeps moving it. Look, I'm a, oh, you can't see it because my face is there. See how I did that? so weird oh it did work okay so here's i don't know why that piece is so big let's go to contour for a second just get rid of this line so weird that should not have happened okay and this piece we can get rid of all of this here oops okay Let's move this over here now that we have space again. Um, why is this so confusing? Where does this piece go? Like this? <laughs> I've already lost track. See, I'm really bad at puzzles. Oh my gosh, it won't let me go. Design space is acting crazy on my really big projects, but just know that all the pieces are there. Let's see what else we have. Um, so you basically need to break down all these pieces. So the yellow right here. The other thing that I would say is let's do this one and then um, I might want to weld some of these pieces so that they're not individual um, pieces because this top portion is one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. Um, I don't know if I wanna make it five pieces because that's a lot of pieces to keep track of and to glue down. So let's slice this and see what we can do with it. Sorry, I'm gonna take a sip. All right, so here, I'm gonna move this aside delete this so this is 14.6 inches by 7 so we don't want to make it all one piece because it would be too big but what we could do is we could turn these two pieces into one these three pieces into another piece so the way we're going to do this one this one's tricky because it's so close to each other you're not going to be able to um, slice it we need to contour it so we're gonna use contour to separate separate out the left side from the right side, okay? So I want two separate pieces, so then I need two copies total. So I'm gonna duplicate the glasses or this whatever, okay? And let's go to contour. We're gonna to contour the first one. So for contouring on this one, we're gonna click everything that we don't want. I don't want this, I don't want this, and I don't want this. Oh, let me see. It's so hard to isolate these pieces over here. Okay, so you see how I click these three pieces? They're like lightly shaded in gray. <laughs> so let's exit out of this. So look it, this is what I have left, okay? So on this one, I'm gonna click contour and get rid of the right hand side. So I don't want this, I don't want this, this or this okay 
So here, now I'm able to do this, right? I'm gonna zoom in for a second though. And again, I'm not gonna make this five separated pieces. I'm gonna make them into two. So I still like the detail of this cutout, but we can add a, oh shoot, sorry, not images, shapes. Let's bring in a circle. All right, where is my little, there is my little circle, okay. So I'm bringing this over, I'm make this really, really, really small, okay? And I'm gonna attach it right around here, okay? And I'm gonna duplicate this so that you can see the before and after. So here is the original, right? I'm gonna make this even a little bit smaller, okay? Um, I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna weld it. So you might not think it's a big deal, but you see, I mean, it that's to me is not noticeable, right? It still has the details of the cutout, but it's attached right here. So here's the after, here is the before. I mean, yes. If I, you know, if I was in school and you have to spot the difference, I would be able to spot the difference, but I don't think that it has an impact on the overall image, but it will have an impact on you when you are trying to keep track of all the pieces and to line it up so that it fits everywhere, right? Now it's two pieces, it will line up together, it will be perfect. We wanna do the same thing on this side. So on this one, I'm going to add another circle I'm gonna attach these two pieces and I can still keep the detail, right? And make it like still have that um, super cute thing. I'm gonna make it really small. I'm gonna duplicate my circle because I also need to do it for the, these two pieces. So I'm gonna put this like right there. Maybe scoot it over a little bit. Okay, that's gonna be one piece and this is gonna be up here. Maybe make this even smaller. Okay, so these two, or these three pieces, I'm gonna now weld. So to me, I mean, look at, when they're right next to each other like this, you're not gonna know, I don't think, that it shouldn't look like that. Um, but it will be a lot easier for you to deal with later. So instead of five pieces, we're down to two pieces. All right, um, so I would do that. Let's zoom out for a second. I would do that for any other pieces? No, these are all pretty big pieces. Um, yeah. I might do it for this gold piece here. I might do like a straight line right here so they're all connected, but you still have the details of the cutouts there. Um, okay, let's separate this. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So I'm calling this five pieces, so we need five copies total. So here's three, four, and five. And let's go to contour. This one's kind of easy, we could hide all, and it leaves us this big piece. Okay, so here's our first piece. Oh, perfect, 9.8 by 7.8, and it's gonna be seamless. So we don't even have to worry about that. All right, let's go to this one, contour. Let's see if we can get away. Let's hide all, but I want this one, this one, oops. I want these three, I don't want this. Let's see how big that piece is. So this is 8.9 inches by 10 inches, basically. I would be tempted to connect these three pieces together. All right, so that's up to you. 
And then this last one would be these five individual pieces here. So let's go to contour. We're going to hide all. We want this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. We don't want this one. And there you have this. See, these are small pieces. I would, this is what I would do. So let's delete this and this because now these gold pieces are all, um, you're able to cut on the Cricut, right? But this one, what I would do is I would go to shapes, get a square, and let's unlock this square and make it really skinny. I would do something like that and weld it. So now instead of five individual rectangles, I have that. I really don't think anyone would notice it, but it would make life so much easier. <laughs> all right, that's all that there is to this thing. It's super easy, super fun, and it's gonna look amazing. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or your own special request. I will see you guys next time. Bye.